Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Ty Larry, aka Ty Killington. Yeah, yeah, man. All right, so the GTA world is ablaze right now with excitement from the official trailer and release date for the GTA Online After Hours DLC. I'm not real sure I like the name of that, but you know, whatever. Let's get right into it. So, first things first, let's read the description that came out on the newswire. Los Santos is a city of bright lights, long nights, and dirty secrets. And they don't come brighter, longer, or dirtier than in GTA Online after hours. Bam! Da-da! <laughs> uh, partner with legendary empresario Tony Prince to open and operate a top-shelf nightclub featuring world-class DJ acts Solomon, Tale of Us, Dixon and the Black Madonna and use it as a front for the most concentrated keyword there concentrated network of criminal enterprise ever to hit San Andreas the party starts on July 24th so we have the release date uh, they say world-class DJ acts I've never heard of any of these guys to be honest uh, but that, that that is irrelevant you know what I mean that's cool it, it's a lot of money to get uh, big names involved in your uh, and your uh, your game and things like that so but once again the key word here is concentrated and we'll talk a little bit about that here I'm just going through some screenshots looks like we have already some uh, some new clothing it looks like looks like the entrance of your actual location when you first buy it uh, I never played the bout of gay Tony so I don't really know this will be my first introduction to gay Tony as it will be the first introduction for many players I believe that I'd a strong majority of players uh, did not go with the uh, bout of gay Tony um, routes for this game. You know, it was kind of it's not, it wasn't part of the main game or whatever. It was a spin-off version or whatever. But it looks like you know, just like Agent 14, just like you know, Nervous Ron. It looks like he is kind of um, introducing you to the property that you just bought. This image right here. He's walking you through it after you've already bought everything, you know, your upgrades, whatever. Looks like you got some dancers and some glow-in-the-dark outfits to the right corner there. Now, I'm sure you'll be able to have real players come into your nightclub, but they're also going to be filled with NPCs. Um, you know, and the more business you have going on, I would assume, the more, you know, NPCs you're going to have on the dance floor. Or it could just be a generic amount that are just always there. And obviously, all these lights and things, you know, what is that? These are all going to be upgrades, extra money you're going to have to spend in the DLC. We have a familiar image right here. What does that remind you of? A smuggler's run or a CEO warehouse kind of crate, um, you know, compilation. You have a new garage, and we'll talk about this here in just a minute. You notice a few things there with this. You, uh, looks like you just got 10 cars, right? Well, we'll talk about that in just a moment. There's a few other features that we have as well. But that's good. We're getting more garage space. I love that. Um, and this is Gay Tony right here. A lot of people are cracking on what he looks like compared to in the, in the old game, The Ballad of Gay Tony. I mean, I don't. once again, I don't see a, a major difference there. It's no big deal to me. This is one of the DJs right here, the Black Madonna. That looks like to be a playable character with the Black Madonna. Maybe you have to go pick her up as a source. This is a new vehicle. It is a militarized vehicle, but it doesn't look too crazy. This looks to be like, um, you know, maybe a location. We'll talk about that in just a minute as well. I'm just kind of going through some of the, the snaps I was taking and, uh, you know, kind of the images and things like that. Well, it looks like to have a, we have a new plane here that looks pretty cool. Uh, there's a few cool things with the plane itself. Now, this is the thing, though. Once again, I said this in a tweet earlier. I'm not getting my hopes up with this DLC. I'm not seeing too much promise with this. Once again, I see a lot of copy and paste, a lot of copy pasta, and uh, I'll talk about that. Every time I get my hopes up for a DLC, I get let down. So I'm trying to do some reverse psychology here, some Jedi mind trick shit. I'm really not getting hyped for this. Uh, I'm going to play it, obviously. You know, I'll check it out, but uh, hopefully it'll, it'll, I'll, I will be uh, proven wrong and it would be great. But look at what we have here. We have a new plane, right? There's a few things I'm going to talk about in order of uh, you know importance, in my opinion. It looks like the plane can take damage. This is a, looks like a Lear jet that we already have in a game. Looks like to be a new skin. But it looks like from the trailer that it can take a few explosions. Look off in the distance. You see that red little blot right there? Is that a giant party screen? What is that? 
It looks like to be some kind of like a screen way off in the distance. Go back and take a look at that and tell me what you think. Sorry, my phone's blowing up there. Uh, here's the plane taking an explosion. It was already smoking before. Maybe, you know, it can take two or three. You know there's a gold jet in the game that, you know, you can't even go past. It only takes one rocket and you're dead. This is the Stretch um, Patriot. Now, Boss had a, a video, and it was like a ridiculously long uh, Patriot. And I was worried that would be in the game. This does not look bad at all. This looks to be a regular size limo. It's just a Patriot. It's, it's a Hummer. It's a Hummer limo. It's a SUV. So, oh, thank God. Thank God it wasn't what Boss had put on there. That's why I don't trust these YouTubers. That's why I don't trust PC mods. I don't. That's not GTA. It's not the game. Look at this, what we have here. Once again, we talked about that uh, a minute ago. This looks like to be some sort of like mini warehouse where you're storing supplies from CEO or Smuggler's Run. What do you notice there? Who's standing there guarding the money? That looks to be like security. So that's going to be an upgrade. This whole room may be an upgrade. You may have to pay extra just to get this whole entire room to be able to have the feature of storing and maybe upping the value of your inventory. Now here's the car garage. A few things you notice. You can actually count the cars. It looks like there's 10 cars, right? To the plain eye, you'd be like, oh, I can only have 10 vehicles. Look in the back corner. You see the letter B and the number 2. So that's indicating that this is level 2, which is, you know, B2. So there's obviously an A, right? So at the very minimum, we know we have two levels of 10 cars. So at the very minimum, we're going to have 20. But if it's an A, B, and C, we could have 60 new slots. That would be really, really cool at the, at the minimum, right? Uh, or the maximum. But we know right there, you know, you have a B2. There's obviously a 1 in front of it. There could be an A in front of that as well. So hopefully that's the case. We'll have a lot of extra slots for vehicles. Uh, looks like we have a blimp in the game. This may be another upgrade something that you can purchase. Maybe when you register as a CEO or a biker or a club owner, this pops up. So maybe we'll have multiple blimps advertising. You know, that's that's you can you know have a custom name. You know, like uh, Tylerius, You know, club whatever your name. I, I can only imagine the bullshit names, the 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 dick related names that would be popping up on there. Uh, so yeah. Looks like, once again, like I was saying, this is kind of like Agent uh, 14 or whatever, kind of like, you know, chauffeuring you and ushering you through your uh, your party warehouse, your club, you know, telling you what is what, this is that, you know, kind of like Nervous Ron did, all that kind of stuff. And once again, another familiar object right here, or another familiar image, you have to go sit down, register, get your club going, and, and you know, so... Hopefully it's not that. Hopefully it is a passive thing that just runs in the background. You go to the game, you just go here one time, you turn it on, and it, and it goes. Uh, but that is a familiar image right there. That is the same for bikers, same for gun running, same for CEO, crates, for smugglers run. Same concept right there. So a little disappointing. Here we have a, a new vehicle. This is a militarized vehicle. Uh, a couple things I'm kind of you know worried about. Once again, we've got weapons on it. If you look at the wheels, it has armor plating on the wheels and you have the guard on the front of the vehicle that's designed to push the vehicles out of the way. It's a bullnose, basically. Um, and we have a lot of vehicles that already have that. We have a lot of vehicles that look like this, that look armored, right? That look real tough, but they can only take one rocket, one RPG, right? And think about the vehicles that have that type of, of uh, bull guard in the front that move the cars out of the way. You can only hit like 20 or 30 vehicles, and then your vehicle breaks down. It you know it, it's, it has a weird damage modifier to it. So once again, it looks awesome. It looks like it can shoot missiles off the top. Once again, another upgrade. But you know it could very well possibly be a big letdown. A two three million dollar vehicle that can only take one RPG. You know, kind of lame. This is an interesting picture right here. This car is being dropped off from another vehicle. This vehicle looks to be like it's holding or transporting these other cars. That looks like it's a play on import-export, right? You're moving vehicles around the town. If you look to the right, we have a new vehicle, an armored weaponized vehicle, again, another weaponized vehicle uh, that has another bull guard on the front of it, a bull nose that pushes vehicles out of the way that is in this snap, this image right here. So I'm not, you know, I don't really I don't want to get hyped up about that. It's another, you know, possible issue for the game uh, with a weaponized armored vehicle that's just trash. 
And here we go. No more questions about when the Jester is coming out. The Jester will be here on the 24th, and it looks like it now has liveries. So hopefully they fixed everything. It's got liveries added to the vehicles. And if you look in the distance, there is that truck that's transporting the cars, and it has a car on the top ramp. So maybe you can drop off a vehicle at a time. This image right here reminds me a lot of import-export again. Do you recall during import-export missions when you go to pick up a car, it's at a photo shoot, it's at, you know, it's about to go do whatever, a race or whatever. This looks like it's a part of a mission where you arrive there uh, and, you know, you have to go steal the vehicle or something like that. It looks very, very similar to that. I could be wrong. This could be a brand new vehicle. I just don't think that that would be a, you know, a feasible prop driving around Los Santos. So once again, guys, uh, I'm not going to get hyped up about this. Of course, I will interact with, I will, I will test this DLC. I will have all the information available for you. You know that. Um, but I'm just not getting my hopes up for it. it. There looks to be a lot of copy pasta with it, but it just looks to be just jammed in all these businesses into one. And it's really just going to be the same thing over and over again. More just junk put out there. Uh, you know, a turd in a box. You know what I mean? So, anyways, if you guys got any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Ills and Reels content of the game. Make sure you smash I mean, must match that like button. Stay dangerous. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Yeah.